Hello. So I've been asked many times about uh, my secrets of uh, how I restore different kind of things. And uh, well, I'm not very prone to share all the details because, you know, this is a business and uh, not a charity. But anyway, I think this is, uh, this is something that can help uh, people to restore uh, small dings in their uh, horns. And uh, the tools required are not so difficult to, to have and not so expensive. So um, even if it's uh, very difficult to, to restore a very damaged horn, something like uh, this kind of uh, small dings, like uh, you see this one or this one. We'll talk later about this other kind of, of damage on this. I think it can be done by the average uh, restorer. So, let's see the tool. What I have. I don't know the name in English of, of, this, uh, of these tools. Uh, they are used in many things, like uh, leather uh, stamping, but also in uh, um, restoring uh, uh, team plate uh, things, okay? The main thing here is that they must be very, very smooth because if you have any scratch thing or whatever here or, or dirt, you will emboss that, um, that uh, scratch or that uh, uh, piece of, of rust or whatever every time you push it over the aluminum, for example. And this is for the edges in this kind, uh, for example, for this kind of, of rims or, or when you have a very, a very sharp um, uh, ding. Okay, then what else? This started as the, uh, as a hammer um, uh, ha uh, handle. Okay. It's very hard wood and it has been polished, rounded in both sides, okay? And it's used in both sides, but also in this, uh, in, in, the, in, in the edges, okay? I will show you later how I use it. And then I have a big bar of aluminium, and I use aluminium for aluminium and not steel, because, uh, as I explain later, um, you have to be very gentle with aluminium because if you use a steel um, anvil, this sort of anvil, you uh, you, you 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 make too much uh, force uh, and, and you and you stretch too much the aluminium and you make a permanent damage. Okay, and again, this must be very very smooth. I have to sand it every time I, I start working on a new horn. I sand it until it's smooth. Okay. So, first of all is to assess the damage you have on the, on the horn. Because depending on the damage you, you have, you can uh, reach a level of restoration or another. So here, what's the damage? The damage was done, uh, well, there, of course, there are very obvious uh, small things uh, uh, everywhere, almost everywhere. But the worst damage was done in a previous restoration as you can see here, somebody with a very coarse sandpaper tried to clean it or well, clean it or, or, or destroy it. It's the damage is, is is appalling. Okay, you see all the scratches here. So the first thing I did was to choose a smooth part and to see if those scratches can be buffed and can be sand. And almost all of them can be uh, can be uh, sanded away. Okay, I did several tests. As you can see, let's put a little bit of distance here. I did a first test here and a second test here, going through all the grids and then uh, buffing a little bit to see if I can achieve a good level of finish. As you can see, I have chosen two parts that are really smooth. Why? Because if I choose, for example, this thing here, okay, and um, I, uh, I start sanding it 
to see if it can be smooth. I will the, the sanding paper or sanding pads, and I use three kinds of, of grids of sanding sanding uh, pads. Will will sand much more this part here than than the surroundings. So it will make the aluminium much thinner here, or even I can make a hole here. So it's a difficult decision what to, to what to make first if uh, remove the dings or sanding sanding uh, the, the surface to see uh, what can be achieved because also if you remove the dings before cleaning all the surface all these little specks of dirt you can see here is there are a lot of uh, dirt and and, uh, and uh, corrosion aluminum corrosion if you push here, you are going to embed those specks inside the aluminium. So you will finish with a rough surface, and uh, you will have to um, you will have to buff them much deeper than before. Okay. So um, one way to avoid that is to use very soft, very soft uh, tools. So not not this kind of steel, for example, to uh, repair um, the, the the worst damage to repair it, then sand it, and then finish the um, the repair of this thing. Okay, and that's what what we are going to do. So first of all, then I'm going to sand very gently, avoiding to hit the um, the most prominent uh, part of uh, of the ding, and then I'm going to um, fix the ding. Not completely, but uh, quite a little bit, and then we are going to finish. Uh, once it's clean, it I'm going to finish the, the restoration. Okay. Before that, I, I, I was forgetting to say something. You see this kind of damage, this kind of deep scratches. Have one problem here, and the other is here. Okay, here. So this, um, it can try to be sanded, but they are really deep. So it's not possible to fix it completely. So uh, it's something you have to live with it. And uh, it can be, it can be uh, uh, smoothed, but this kind of things, this kind of very deep scratch that have really embedded inside the, 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 the metal, um, they are there forever, okay? So again, Depending on what you see on the horn, you will have to uh, achieve a, a higher or, or lower level of restoration. Because if you polish it all to a mirror finish and you have this kind of blemishes, they will look very, very prominent. Okay, so that um, you have to make a decision of how what, what will be the level of restoration. Okay. Let's start with it, okay? So I have fine, super fine and micro fine um, uh, sandpaper pads. The first thing is to let's organize this. It's not easy with the camera, you know? Let's try to clean it a little bit. Okay, and then we go a little bit smoother. Okay. Okay, so you see, I have no more corrosion embedded in the surroundings and let's do the same if necessary on the outside the outside is much much better condition so uh, we go directly with uh, super fine and then micro fine
Okay, so let me pause the video a second because I have to set up the die here and um, you will see how I, I fix this, this thing, okay? One minute. So here I am again. So I put this die, uh, as you can see, it's very tall. Why is it so tall? Because I need to have some clearance when I put the horn here to work with it. Uh, so as you can see, it's clean. So let's work with very soft tools, because if I, if you hammer aluminium, you are going to stretch it. And if you stretch it, then you will have a bigger bulge here. And then, because you, you have you have thinner, you have to uh, make the, the aluminium much thinner, and then you are in big trouble. Because uh, if you are working with steel, you can stretch it by, you can contract it by heating and then cooling it, and well, it's, it's, it's not that easy, but it can be made. But aluminium is another beast. Aluminium, you cannot, you cannot shrink it. So you have to be very, very careful um, not to hammer it, just using very gentle forces to, um, to um, uh, redress this, uh, this thing. Okay? So first thing what we're going to do is to, using the wood, um, the, the wood uh, handle, to just push on it. You can see it's not black magic, it's just knowing what to do. Okay, so this is getting better at a very, very fast rate. Now we go on the side and you see that the thing is still there. You have always to work with the, with the uh, reflect of the light, so you see what you are doing. And again, now you have to work on the perimeter because a ding always have two curves around the perimeter so you have to work on the on the peak but also on the sides and again Okay, so now, now that the worst damage is, is fixed, I still have here a, a small ridge. This one can be fixed by using this side. Okay, and again here I have a very small ridge that also can be worked down. Okay. Another problem is when you fix a big thing, then you uh, you you are fixing it. Then all of a sudden you discover that on the side you have small ones that you have not even seen before, because this one was so big that it was uh, grabbing all your attention. So that's also what I told you before. You have to decide what level of restoration you can make on a horn. Okay. Because you start fixing it, and then you say, oh my goodness, this one. So you fix this, this, and then when you have fixed these two ones, then you see a very small one here that also needs your attention. And when you fix the small one, then you have a really tiny one there here that you also have to fix, you know? And it's a never-ending story. So you have to uh, know when to stop. Okay, so now let's see if this uh, is better um, and it's, if it's good enough. Again, very gentle sanding, just to smooth things, you know, so, so you can you can see the if there's uh, um, more uh, uh, 
bridges or, or things to, to be fixed on that on that area. Hmm, we're almost there. And same thing from the other side. Okay, so I just want to work on a very little ridge I have here, and maybe this one also. Yeah. So these ones I'm going to use this die, but only by pushing only with my hand and against my finger. And then I, I can feel on my finger, I can feel how the metal is deforming under the pressure of, of, uh, of, this, uh, of this tool. So you have a very, very precise control of what you are doing. And this is one thing that... Uh, you can see hundreds of videos and tutorials, but uh, you will only know how to uh, work with it, with, with this, once you have uh, done, uh, I don't know, maybe 50, 60, 100 horns, you will see how your skills improve. And uh, you will be a little bit ashamed of how bad were your first horns. So again, so buffing. Not too bad, but you see, now these other two ones are much more prominent once these ones have disappeared. Okay, so here it is. I still have to work a little bit on some very small ridges as you see here. Okay, so here it is. Now uh, I have to polish it with metal cleaning and all that. But before I have to, you know, I have to re restore all the remaining things. So this can take easily one uh, one morning of work, four or five hours easily. But then you know it, uh, you you finish with a horn like this that has uh, another. 100 years of life. Okay, cheers, bye.